Today we're gonna cover more news about the software releases that happened recently in addition to events taking place in the VFX and design industry. ZBrush version 2021.7 Pixel Logic has recently announced that they released ZBrush 2021.7 that came with many nice features including a variety of different brushes that will allow you to perform different cutting and sculpting operations, brushes such as slice it, stage it, bevel it, mirror it, interpolate it, adjust it and more. Slice it allows you to make slicing operations easily with high precision. Staging allows you to save two different transformations and switch between them and use them as needed. Bevel it is good for sculpting flat and rounded bevels along an edge in real time. With interpolated brush, you can basically draw two different brush strokes and the software will interpolate across surfaces between the two. In addition to mirror it, that allows you to copy poly paint and masking from one side of a post mesh to the other. What a age announcement. What a digital on side effects announced Wada aged combining Houdini's world-class production workflows with Wada's new cloud software service, enabling studios and artists to take advantage of deep integration between Houdini's and Wada digital award-winning simulation and rendering technology. Basically, it is about unified real-world physics, which allows them to achieve a high level of realism. In addition to that, procedural building techniques and high-performance computer architecture can lead to many possibilities for those going to the next level. Wada Age is going to extend Wada Cloud possibilities by bringing together artists, designers, and developers in a single cloud-based service that can be used by everyone. Nag All Pro Library This is a nice library of 3D assets that can be used with 3ds Max. It is basically a great tool that allows you to organize everything in one place and import assets to your projects, whether it be for architectural visualization scenes or to create different environments according to your needs. And from the first look at this tool, the most important thing that is brought to our attention is its ability to reduce time when working on populating environments and the number of assets it contains. This brings with it a ton of value compared to trying to create all these assets yourself which is going to be, of course, so much work and so much effort. Plus, the assets are organized in a way that allows them to be found easily and imported super fast to 3ds Max. Gearbox Entertainment's new studio Gearbox Entertainment revealed recently that they are going to launch a second Quebec studio, Gearbox Studio Montreal. According to the information we have, the new studio will probably hire around 250 people, which will increase the number of people working for Gearbox Entertainment to 850 people. Gearbox Software is an American video game development company, and it initially created expansions for the Valve game Half-Life, then ported the game and others to console platforms. In 2005, Gearbox launched its first independent set of games, Brothers in Arms. Another game series called Borderlands began in 2009 and by 2015 has sold over 26 million copies. Topo Wrap for Maya This is a great plugin that can be used to do retopology work with a high degree of precision based on your sculpts or 3D scans. First, you need a base model and a high resolution model, but you need to align them perfectly using markers. The process is going to be very simple. Just try to put the same markers in the same place compared to the other mesh to make sure that the plugin is going to be as accurate as possible in every part of the mesh and do the retopology process accordingly, creating a perfect alignment. During the process, the points or the markers can be edited, tweaked, you can hide them and hide them, you can draw more, you can delete them, and you can mirror them over the other side, which gives you a lot of freedom and flexibility. The Paint Retain tool is used to retain local shapes in their places as a way to exclude some parts from the topology process. You can also relax the mesh if you see some artifacts or something that doesn't look right. After that, you can assign the high resolution texture from the scan to the low poly model or the model that you already retopologized. Furthermore, you can bake it later on if you want to. Tia Conceptor 4.0 this is a great software that can be used to work on concepts and designs super fast using the method of kit bashing. TA Conceptor has many different brushes that can be used to create all 3D shapes that you need to finish your concept from simple ones to complex ones, and from mechanical shapes to natural shapes. 
Also, one of the most important thing about it is the speed at which you are able to put everything together and design something. With the latest release, you will get a more convenient brush library in addition to improvements when it comes to stability and performance. Also new modifiers and improvements when it comes to loading objects and backgrounds. Adobe acquires Frame.io Adobe, the giant software company, has recently announced that it is acquiring the cloud-based video collaboration platform Frame.io. Hopefully, what will come out of this acquisition is the integration of frame tools and technology into one of the most important software in the arsenal of Adobe, which is Premiere Pro. And with the team of Frame working on this shift, I think it will be a great push forward to make Premiere Pro even better. They are planning to expand the use of artificial intelligence in video production, which is gonna be a big leap forward in video editing work. DaVinci Resolve 17.3 Blackmagic Design has recently released DaVinci Resolve 17.3, which came with a lot of new updates and fixed some of the most annoying problems users were dealing with. This update is really important because the new release has a processing engine that increases speed up to three times on Apple Mac models with the M1 chip. There are also options to choose between quality and speed when rendering due to some new encoding and decoding features. There are also new features when it comes to color, cutting, and other general features. Unreal Engine 4.27 This new release came with new and interesting improvements, like the new level in-depth VFX for creating high-quality final pixels, which became significantly more efficient and easier. In addition to GPU light mass, to generate complex light effects using GPU progressive light baking, which makes it just incredible. Furthermore, using path tracing, you can create something that looks like a final image while processing in real time. And there are also enhancements using virtual camera systems that offer support for a lot of features and allows flexible workflows in different fields. And of course, improvements when it comes to USD support for the Unreal Engine, in addition to tools and improvements when it comes to XR, VR, and AR. And finally, I want to leave you with Double Negative's Jungle Cruise VFX Breakdown, which I think is great and it is going to give you a lot of insights. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.